Okay, I, sp I misspelled the registry. I guess it's a registry. Okay, registry. No, <laughs> I forget how it's spelled. Registry, registry, registry. Okay, I guess we have to use not the slash here, not the slash. Okay. Mm -hmm. Registry. Okay. So now you can have the access of the full uh, tree of the ASCII local machine software. You can even change values of the registry from here. So you can see how powerful is this comment. Okay. So let's uh, try another comment. For example, uh, let's say I want to see all the services that are running in your machine. It's pretty easy. You have to type get service. And here you can see all the services that are running in your machine. The status, the name, and display name. Let's say you want uh, to filter only that services that start with, for example, with a remote. So, okay. So we use the parameter called display name. Display name. That start with the remote. Okay, remote. And wildcard. So here you can see all the services that have display name that start with the remote word you can even stop service for example let's uh, stop the service over here remote registry so you tap net stop uh, net stop or service remote registry Re just okay the remote registry was stopped you can verify that once again and it's stopped remote registry so you can do a lot of things a lot of commands are available for you to to do a lot of things okay and also let me show you the magic command it's called get help so if you want to know the help of command you just type get help space and your commands for example get date so here you can see all the help related to that command get date as its name suggests it gives you the date the current date gets the current date and time and there is also a parameter that you can use with that get help command let for example if you want to see some examples you have only to add the parameters example and you can see Microsoft has provided a lot of examples for that command example one example two so it's pretty good shell it's easy to use and you can handle it and also you can do a lot of, lot of things with it now I'm going to show you some advanced uh, commands common that you can use so let's say for example we want to, to count the number of lines and words uh, in a file so let's go to our root directory and in order to do that, we use the command called set location. So you type your root directory C. Okay. So in the root directory, oh, I'm going to create a file. So we use the command use uh, called uh, new item. Okay, new item with the parameter name 
and we provide the name for our file let's call it uh, test dot txt okay and we provide also a parameter called type it's file as you can see file is, is, has been created with the name of test test now let's uh, put something in this file so we use another command let called set content okay we just type the command and the name of our file and there is a uh, lovely features in the in the this new shell you have just to type uh, the tab key and it will uh, to complete your file okay so now you have to provide the, the text so let's create for example I'm going to teach you some scripting techniques for example Techni techniques Okay. Good time. Okay, and if you finished your typing your text, just press enter and voila. If you want to display the contents of your text file, so you type get contents and you provide the name of the file. Okay, and here you can see the output of our file. It contains the text that we have typed. Let's say, for example, you want to know how many lines and uh, also words or characters in that file. So we use the same command, get contents, and we use what we call a pipe. So we use a class called measure object measure object with the parameter line for example parameter word and the parameter character character and voila all you get how many lines four we have here four lines as you can see in our text four lines 13 words and 62 characters you can do a lot of things you can compare files you can merge files so it's pretty good power uh, shell that you can use in, in your everyday task so it helps you to improve your work so so in the next videos I'm going to show you a lot of other features and go in depth with this power shell so Thanks for watching and have a good time and uh, see you soon. Bye bye.